We're excited to highlight our new BioLC columns uh, at this PICCON. Our customers are developing more and more different types of monoclonal antibodies for therapeutics. And so they need higher resolution MAB columns to be able to separate those challenging new type of monoclonal antibodies. So last PICCON, we introduced a family of MAPPAC HIC columns, and these columns are good for separating proteins and monoclonal antibodies under non-denaturing conditions. And those are good for uh, researchers who would like to do downstream functional analysis. More recently, we introduced a new reverse phase column for MAB analysis. This is good for, this column is good for uh, MAB fragments and MAPs intact maps as well and this column is very rugged and it has wide pore size which enables uh, high resolution separation and also when we couple this column with mass spectrometer we were able to analyze intact map um, map glycosylation map oxidation and also antibody drug conjugate samples the next column I would like to highlight is our DNA PET RP columns. This is a new reverse phase column, and it also is based on a polymer wide pore resin. And that wide pore allows customers to analyze not only short oligonucleotides, but also long oligonucleotides and double stranded DNA fragments. The next column I would like to highlight is our new reverse phase. DNA pack RP column. It's a column specifically designed for oligonucleotides. It's based on a wide pore polymer resin. And so because it's a polymer resin, it can withstand high pH and high temperature. And also because it has wide pore, it can analyze short single-stranded oligonucleotides as well as long oligonucleotides. And also we can analyze double-stranded DNA fragments up to 10,000 base pairs. The third column I would like to highlight is our Acclaim Aminoglycoside C18 column. <laughs> our customers have told us that they need a column that can withstand low pH conditions to separate aminoglycoside samples. So we developed a new resin. Uh, it's a silica resin and it's encapsulated with polymer. And, and, there, and the polymer layer uh, makes this resin much more stable at low pHs. And so because this column can withstand that low pH condition, we were able to develop a low pH, convenient, easy method for our customers.